Friends we show heart, foes. What's this? It's, uh, adornment. Greetings, White Wolf. I suspected you'd come by. Bah! <laughs> I was sure of it. Oh, yeah? The best stocked armory in all Skellig is right here at Kerr Trulda Castle. Everyone knows it. I'll gladly see for myself. Take your time. Give them all a careful look. Craft something for me, will you? Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Tavern the night bladded as a boat swain. Fucking hell. Not bad. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Show me your wares. So long. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. So long. Uh. Oh! You keep loitering, bothering folk. Go, go. Don't be quiet here. It's all silver here. It's all silver here. It's back.
slow now. Let's go! Slower. Let's go!
Best blade's not worth shutting him away. Take a gander. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. So long. Come closer? Come on. The skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. Faster.
That's it, Roach. on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And all the Isles with us! Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Mute its power! Was that unicorns? Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. 
What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You know I don't like it. Let it go. I just want to see what happened. Besides, you know there are things I'd rather not know about you. Let's go. Already found the first spot. Yes? This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Ah! Ah! Don the mask. What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here but this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Well. Ready? Use the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now, but who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, 
Do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. We went flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted. Then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> You also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on the last one. But if I remember correctly, Lockton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. And what if Craven told the truth? Whiskers. What if but he didn't abandon us? But was me, the son of and on Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So... And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses, wearing frost-covered armor? Aye, that's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men, like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came, cut him across his face. He tried to whisper, only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out, 
to get help, to get live. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Nagy. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Ciri... Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before... before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Scar. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Morkvarg. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I'm not here to work. I doubt Morkvarg cares. Monsters prowl when they will and where they will. Fine. He comes within reach of my sword, I'll deal with him, but only then. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds, but so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Sweet mother. This trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. Hey, Geralt, come back. A 
suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Yes? My, my. That must be more clog. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. <laughs> Food. Food. <laughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. This one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Blood. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. Morkvark 
doesn't give up easily. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Prince. Craven trod carefully. Slammed the door in Morkvark's face. Did you find something? A trail leads right to a locked door. I think you can get around it. of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. <laughs> <laughs> 